हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू एंड एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू ऑफ पोजीशन एंड मोमेंटम लेट्स एगेन व्हाट इज एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू इन क्लासिकल मेकानिक्स वी स्टडीड अबाउट द एवरेज ऑफ एन ऑब्जर्वेबल That average plays the same role in case of quantum mechanics in terms of expectation value of an observable. So, how we define to that of expectation value? If a system is in a state. described by a normalized wave function psi then the expected average the expected average or we can say the expectation value of the results of the results of measurement of any observable let a be the observable which corresponds to the operator let a cap a be the observable of, of that of operator a cap and the expectation value or we can say it as the expected average of that observable a which corresponds to the operator a cap is given by we can write it mathematically as the expectation value of that observable a that is integration from minus infinity to plus infinity psi star a cap psi d tau okay that is the observable that corresponds to that of operator and that can be written in that of psi star psi d tau where psi is a normalized wave function where psi is the normalized wave function normalized in the sense the integration over psi star psi d tau is equal to 1 that means that wave function is normalized then the expectation value of that of given observable will be this much d tau be that of volume element the question arises if uh, that wave function is not normalized then what should be the expectation value of that of given observable so if the wave function psi is not normalized 
then what we have we have the expectation value will be that is integration from minus infinity to plus infinity psi star a cap psi d tau divided by integration from minus infinity to plus infinity psi star psi d tau that will be the expectation value when that wave function is not normalized. If that wave function is normalized, that equation with the expectation value of that of observable and when that wave function is normalized, not normalized, that equation is the expectation value of that of given observable. Now, if uh, there will be further condition like the Eisen value equation, then what should be the expectation value? So, if further condition, if the wave function psi of the system is an eigen function eigen function psi i of the operator operator a cap then we shall have the eigen value equation that is a cap operates on that wave function psi i it gives rise to a i psi i a i with the eigen value where a i is uh, the real value Now, what should be the expectation value of that observable? Now, then we can say, then let the expectation value that is expectation of that observable A, since A corresponds to that of operator A cap, therefore, a will be integration from minus infinity to plus infinity psi i star a cap psi i d tau is equal to integration from minus infinity to plus infinity psi i star that term when that operator operates on that of psi i it gives rise to this quantity that is a i psi i d tau therefore i a i is the real value that means it is a constant constant to that of outside a i integration from minus infinity to plus infinity psi star i psi i d tau since that uh, wave function is normalized therefore that value will be 1 we get i since the wave function psi i is normalized Therefore, integration over psi star i psi i d tau is equal to 1 that is the expectation value of that given observable when that written in terms of 
eigen value equation these are the possible conditions to find out the expectation value of that given observable if that wave function is normalized if that wave function is no, is not normalized when it, we give a system of wave function and its eigen function is given then its expectation value now our task is to get the expectation value of position and momentum since there are two phase space one is coordinate space and another one is momentum space in these two space the observables are behave in different manner that's why here we consider only for that of coordinate space so the expectation value now the expectation value of position in coordinate space expectation value of position in coordinate space that is expectation value let x with the position that of x axis minus infinity to plus infinity psi star its corresponding operator let's x cap psi dx we consider in one dimensional motion here minus infinity to plus infinity x cap act of one side gives rise to x x psi star psi dx that is the magnitude of psi star psi that is x that is the magnitude of psi square dx and in place of psi square we can also write rho minus infinity to plus infinity x that is rho dx where rho is the probability probability of finding that particle this is the expectation value of position now the expectation value of momentum in coordinate space expectation value of momentum in coordinate space let we consider x component of that of momentum px the expectation value minus infinity to plus infinity psi star px cap psi dx we consider one dimensional motion since it's dx therefore when px act upon psi we can write here in place of px operator that is minus infinity to infinity psi star so it will be h cross by i del psi del x dx and the expectation value of momentum in coordinate space so with the help of this video lecture we understand what should be the basics related to expectation value of an observable in quantum mechanics this will be the mathematical expression of that of expectation values and finally we get the expectation value of position and momentum in coordinate space so with this useful uninformative notes let me wind up this session thank you